Octopuses look so alien, can solve complex puzzles and show a preference for different individuals. But do octopuses feel and remember pain like we do? Not only do octopuses have eight arms, they also have nine brains. An important new study suggests octopuses are likely to feel and respond to pain in a similar way to mammals, the first strong evidence for this capacity in any invertebrate. The experience of pain is far more than a simple reflex to harmful stimuli or injury. It's a complex emotional state leading to distress or suffering. Octopuses are the most neurologically complex invertebrates on Earth. Yet surprisingly, few experiments have focused on their potential for experiencing pain. Neurobiologist Robin Crook from San Francisco State University has been investigating this issue for years. And the latest work from her lab has now used the same protocols for testing pain in laboratory rodents on cephalopods, specifically the octopus. Using detailed measurements of spontaneous pain-associated behaviors and neural activity, Crook has identified three lines of evidence that all indicate octopuses are capable of feeling negative emotional states when confronted with pain. These are the same characteristics that mammals show, despite the fact that the octopus nervous system is organized in a fundamentally different way to vertebrates. Of course, it's really difficult for scientists to interpret a subjective feeling or emotional state in an animal, especially one so different from us. But Crook argues that behavior shown by octopuses in these experiments suggests they're probably experiencing the physical and emotional components of pain in a way not so different to rodents, including lasting changes in their affective state, what we would call in humans our mood, feelings, and attitudes. Crook also found evidence that octopuses could discriminate between different qualities and intensities of pain in different locations on their bodies. All of the octopuses injected with the acid showed grooming behaviors at that injection site for the full 20-minute training trial, removing a small area of their skin with their beak. Human animals often share their feelings verbally. We say things like, I'm so happy, or that makes me really angry. People can't communicate with other animals on that level, so it's impossible for us to know exactly what non-human animals feel. But that doesn't mean they don't feel anything. 